So today, we're headed out to a very special tree stand. One that I know there's a bunch of elk, there's coyote, there's whitetail, and there's bear. All right, so we just got in our tree stand here and we have some nice whitetails right here. There's actually two does and there's a decent buck right there. There's another decent buck, I think like right here as well. So he's about 70 yards out. We're gonna try and call, get him a little bit closer. Then we gotta get ready for these elk. All right, looks like it worked and there's one of our bucks right there, but that's actually the bigger of the two right there, about 60 yards out. I feel like the smaller one's coming in first. Not that he's small. Well, yeah, he's kind of small. But this is the guy I want here. Holding tight at 60. So hopefully he comes closer. All right, so it looks like our buck's on the move. He's about 40 yards out here. A real nice whitetail coming right towards us. Very cool looking buck. Definitely in range. Only problem with this tree stand is you really can't see very much out of it. Right now we're actually crouched, but if we stand up, it's not any better. So we'll just wait till he comes a little bit closer. It gives us a shot. So he's about 25 right there. But like I said, we just don't really have, we don't really have a good angle or a good shot right now. Come on, can we crouch? Oh, that could work. Oh, it was so perfect. Come on, turn. Nope, doesn't want to do it. There we go. Ah, some money. Dropped him. Big buck down. All right. Looks like we have three does taken off. And the other buck should be coming in here soon. So we might have just enough time to get him. And then the elk should be on their way. All right, so I just turned to look behind us because I see something come in here. And it looks like we got a real decent bull elk right there. It's a nice four, 74 yards out coming our direction. I feel like he wanted to come in, but because we took the shot at that white tail, it might have spooked him a little bit. And the fact that the wind's blowing right directly at him, that probably doesn't help too much either. So we're not really going to focus on him. Whoa, I don't know what the heck just happened, but we just sprung up like a slinky. Okay, hold on. That's our other buck right there. And slinkies don't spring up. I meant to spring. Okay, he's 106 out. Um, but maybe we could get a shot at one of these does first. Yeah, I think we can. Definitely get a shot at this doe here first. Wait till she gives us a shot. That's not a very good angle. Even if we stand up. That could work. And it will, and we dropped her. Perfect. And I believe our buck should still be coming in. In fact, it's a doe right there. So if we could get at least one more of these bucks, we'll be something pretty good for this bull elk. Okay, so we know that tree right there is about 30 yards out. So we know she's roughly 30. So if she turns a little bit more, we could go for 30. If she steps up, hold on. We have, that is a decent bull elk. Is that that four? No, that's a real good three. Okay. So, let's try and slow that bull down and see if we can't possibly take down this doe as well. And perfect shot on the doe. I'm really hoping we didn't spook the bull elk. I don't think we would have. It's close. It's going to be real close. But what I do know, we definitely need to put our 600s back in. Okay, so yeah, that bull is definitely spooked because the wind's blowing right directly at him. But I feel like this three should be coming in here soon. Yeah, he's right down there. So do we try for another? Oh, yeah, are there bucks coming in? Okay. So we got eyes on our other, holy, we got elk all around us here. We got to make up our mind fast. I don't know if we should try for this buck at about 45 out and then possibly get on some of these elk. I think that's what we're going to do. Is that our buck? That is definitely not our buck. That's a doe, but our buck is right here somewhere. 
about to stub out right there about 45 yards out oh that was a very bad choice that's all right it was a clean miss i'm okay with it i'm okay with it we rushed the shot and that's what happens when you rush the shot so try not to rush the shot all right i think at this point we're going to switch over to elk because we have bulls all around us we are absolutely surrounded with bulls there's a couple of cows there, but we have a bull there, a bull there, and two bulls coming in here. That's a real good bull right there. That's the one we want. 54 yards out. Decent wind. He should definitely come into range. And what the heck is with this guy here? Huh. I don't know what's going on with that one, but... Okay, we have a couple of small bulls right underneath us. That other four should be coming in here soon as well. But like I said, I really want to hold off for this big four if we can. Then, we'll worry about the rest of them in a second. Another bull sneaking in there. Alright guys, here he comes. He is about 40 out right there. Definitely in range. Not a good angle and not a good wind. So we'll have to hold off. He's about to walk right underneath us and man that sounds awesome. Okay, so he's definitely within 30. He is definitely within 30, and he is about to get shot. Hold on. Hold on. Here we go. If we can get... Oh, that looked beautiful. Definitely should have been double lung. Uh, yep, yeah, he's down. Okay. So I'm thinking that might have actually been lung and liver, but I will definitely take it. And at this point... Yeah, let's hop down and pick some of these up quick and get back in the stand. First, look at all the bulls. Look at them all over there taking off. Man, this spot is absolutely incredible. Okay, so we're going to get a consecutive check, another consecutive check, and hopefully a decent gold whitetail buck. Oh, well, guess we're good at 100% there. And still another 100%. And this should be potentially a decent gold. It is a decent gold. 874. Double lung shot at him at 18 yards out. Very nice buck. All right, so we hit the other bull right about here. It looks like we definitely... Oh, yeah. Blood rate high. So that means we either got double lung or lung and liver, which definitely should be 100%. And this should be close to a 900 bull. He had a real good rack on him, and I would imagine it's got a pretty good weight as well. I didn't quite check, but... Yeah, I would say he's going to be close to a thousand pounds. All right, so here he is down right here. We're crouch walking right now because we're still surrounded by elk. In fact, they're absolutely everywhere, but this is a real good bull here. And it is a gold 879. We ended up getting a shoulder blade double lung, but barely. <laughs> I bet if we would have missed that back lung, we probably would have got liver, which still would have gave us 100% because we definitely got that front lung. But 14 yards out, a real nice bull. He ended up weighing 983 pounds. And yeah, let's get back in the stand. Okay, so we're halfway back to the stand and we have a bull calling right next to us here. Not much we can really do. We're going prone right now, trying to get there as, as stealthy as possible, but <laughs> I mean, there's a good chance he's gonna bust. We do have a good win though, so we'll stay positive and see what happens. If we can find the stand. I feel like the stand should be right here, but why can I not see it? Is it in this tree or this? Okay, there it is. All right, so we're almost to our stand. And can we get in it without spooking this bull? Come on. I think we made it and there's our bull. At least a bull. Also, I just saw something Man, I wish we could see a little bit better from this tree stand. I mean, like I said before, this is the only tree in this whole area that you can put a tree stand. Believe me, I've searched this whole entire area. But look at the elk coming in. Okay, this is our bull. That's him right there. He is about 25 out. Let's get ready and be patient here for a nice shot. If he walks right past... Oh, don't stop right behind the brush. It was so perfect too. Okay, here we go, come on. And that will work! Wow! I didn't think we would drop it, but I will take it. 
Man, is there bulls everywhere. Another real good three right there. He doesn't exactly know what's up yet, so... Hopefully we can get him to calm down and come back in. And I think the bull that just called behind us, that's probably one of those fours. The strange looking one that we saw from before. So yeah, the other white tail, I believe he took off. We did have a shot at him, but we ended up, eh, he turned at the last second and we missed, but that happens sometimes. It will definitely happen more than once. What do I hear coming in now? Is that that big four? Holy! <laughs> Tons of elk. All cows. But I hear something else. There. Okay. It's not a big one, but it is a bull. So we'll probably take a shot on him. The wind's blowing right at all these cows. So that's not really helping much. And let's try not to run in the tree stand because I could probably spook them. What do I hear right here? Oh, another small one. That could work. That could work very good indeed. And that was a lung liver shot or liver intestine. What? Still going down? Yeah. It'll be down right there, in fact. Right there. Nice. I will take it. Oh, look at this. Big bull coming in. I think this is the four. That's a real good bull. Either that's a four or it's a big... Nah, that's got to be a four. Or it's a big three. Could be a huge three. No, it's a big three. Real big three. I don't even know where he came from. So I know there's a really strange looking four around here, but... Where the heck did this big guy come from? He is 40 yards out. Another bolt. Man, this is elk and bull and whitetail paradise here. <laughs> okay, so let's actually get ready on this bull out in the front. He's going to be about 30 right there. But is he going to hold up? Oh, another big bull coming in. I think that's the other three right there. Let's check here. Yeah, that's the other three. Okay, so both these threes are pretty nice bulls. In fact, we might as well take our time here and just, first off, enjoy this moment because this is absolutely unbelievable. We have elk surrounding us completely. We have whitetail, coyote. Um, I think there's even blacktail here, or uh, black bear. Okay, so this bull stopped at 34. And this is actually the bigger of the two at 33. But he's not quite as broadside. I like this one at 34. Perfectly broadside. Holy, where'd that one come from? Another big three. Okay, that's the... Uh, trying to concentrate here is uh, a little difficult. Especially when you have four big bulls right underneath you. Followed by like 15 cows. And who knows, there might even be a five around here somewhere. But uh, yeah, I kind of lost track of which one I was going to go for because I really wanted that big three. Is that him there? I feel like uh, that could be him too there. Honestly, okay, that's him. I found him. Uh, remember we ranged him at 33 and that's him there. So we'll wait till we get a shot. Okay, what is this one now? That is the strange looking four. I actually want to take a shot on him because I want to take him from this herd. We know he's 30. What is that one now? Holy. Okay. That's him there. Just got to stay focused. Wait for the right moment. And take the shot. Is that him? All right, I feel like we have a different option here because this is getting too complicated. And we definitely smoked that one. Just a smaller one, but he's going down. Yeah, it was way too complicated to get a shot on that four with all these elk here. It was just, wow. Not that I'm complaining, not even one bit at all because that was pretty crazy.
But we already do have one of the biggest ones down, which scored 890. So I feel like this other one, it's going to be a gold potential, but it'll probably be like an 815, maybe 820s. So actually that big three should be a gold as well. So we potentially could have three gold bull elk here. But while we're sitting here waiting for these animals to come back in, why don't I show you exactly where we're at? Okay, so right over here is the Northern Northern Outpost. Let's try it again. Northern Northern Outpost. And we're just to the east over here. It's really hard to tell you exactly where this is, but... Oh, we already got more coming in. Just go to the east, find this, tr this uh, hunting structure here and go a little more east. And right here, I'll give you the exact location. Right there, it is 13121.777 and 4343.257. You literally need to be in this exact location to put a tree stand. But right here, we have a elk need zone from 930 till 1330. Right over here, we have another one from 9 until 1330. And right here, we have a white tail need zone from 5 until 930. And right over here, we had a coyote need zone as well. So yeah, this spot is pretty spectacular. And let's get back to these out because they're they're already back apparently. So where's that big four? Okay, so we have two elk down there, one there and one there. What do we have coming in over here? Bunch of cows. Another cow. This time, whatever comes in first that we get a decent shot at, we're going to go for it because we waited too long. I mean, it's not bad to wait that long because you never know. A, a giant could have stepped out. And if we would have taken a shot right away, then we wouldn't have seen it. So it's never a bad thing to be too patient. But this time, when that three steps out or if the four steps out, we're taking a shot. So these are all cows here. We'll hold off on them for a little bit. I feel like that might be the three. Oh yeah, that's definitely one of the threes. It's not the biggest one, but it is a three. Decent sized one. It's definitely not the big three though. So here's the good part about this tree stand. If you look at our invisibility line, we are basically completely invisible right here. Completely invisible. We can't really see very good, but <laughs> hey, we're completely invisible, so I guess you gotta take what you can get. A nice bull right here. I think this is the three. Let's get ready on him. Uh, hit him a little bit too far back, but I think we still got lung and liver. Let's watch him. Should go down. Oh, that's not him. Well, pers is that him there? Okay, yeah, so he he went down pretty quick. You know what I wish that they would do? I wish that they would implement some kind of a meh or like a soft noise that you could easily access to slow them down or get their attention. Because the whistle, mm, that's pretty risky. I've already had some monster spook because of it. Draw back, full draw, you hit the whistle and they just bolt. So that's not really working out so well. And also... It's hard to access it too, because one time I had it set up on my mouse and instead of hitting the whistle, I accidentally shot. And let's just say <laughs> the bull bolted and the, the arrow was like two feet over his back and it, it was just bad, really bad. <laughs> okay, so is that, got a cow here. I think that's the other big three. But we also have another one over there. I can't quite see what it is just yet. Let's check. That is not the one we want, but that, okay, that's the one we want. That's our big four. And also we have another three right here, actually. I think we're gonna go for the big three because the four is a little bit, eh, a little further away than I would like. So if this three would slow, yeah, there we go. There we go, nice shot on him. Should take him down, right there. All right, he's down. Now, I wonder if that's that four. Okay, so because we're not using tracks, we're gonna need to get down and start picking some of these up here because otherwise I'm gonna lose track of these bulls. 
And I don't want to lose any of these bulls. I feel like we still have plenty of time anyways, so let's actually hop down. Pick some of these up. Let's try and count. One, two, three, and four. For sure four, but maybe five. But we have another out coming in here. So if this is the four, he's holding tight there at about 30 out. Oh, he started running and we ended up hitting him in the hind quarter. So, I mean, I guess we hit him, but that wasn't so good. I feel like I should take him down eventually, but So we still didn't get that big four. I'm wondering if this is him. I hear him, but I can't see him. At this point, we're holding off for only that big four because we already have five elk down. I marked the one over there that ran off that way. I feel like it should go down. Yeah, I don't see the four. We're gonna hop down now and start picking some up. Yeah. Okay, so there should be five of them that we need to find. Look at them. Two there. All right, so this is the big three. Must have got spinal cord. We did get spinal cord. Left lung and spinal cord. So that makes one. So we should have four more left. And this one makes two, double lung shot. So this should be the last elk, but we're gonna go back to the stand and take a look and see if we can't see any more uh, tracks or, or butt around there. But it's looking like this bull is definitely going down. And in fact, there he is right there. So even the bull that tried to flee ended up taking a shot on the run. Well, we didn't really know he was gonna run, but anyways, he did run and we hit him. And where did we hit him? Who? Barely hit him, but we did hit him. And the fact is it took him down and we cut our consecutive harvest. So that's pretty cool. 26 yards out on the run. I ended up hitting him way high in the back hind quarter, but a little bit too high. Actually, we hit him in the tail. Let's just say that. Well, would you look at this? We just came back over here and I can see some blood right there. So we definitely hit another one and I see more elk over here. And I feel like that one might be the big four. Uh, thought I saw one over here, but maybe not. Right there. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so does it not look like he's bedded? It kind of looks like there's a bedded elk right there. But then you can actually see his legs there. But without seeing his legs, it looks like he's bedded and it looks like he's just sleeping. So apparently, we found our other elk. At least we came back over here to double check to make sure we didn't leave anything. And sure enough, we did. So here he is, and let's pick him up. That was a liver stomach shot, 23 yards out. You really gotta lead them a little bit when they're walking, which is so realistic. I absolutely love that you have to lead them like this. In Cabela's Big Game Hunter Pro Hunts, you don't lead them, and I mean, it's a great game, but I really wish you could lead them a little bit. And here, you can see we're holding for like right here, but as he was walking, we hit back about four inches further than I would have liked, but that was kind of our fault. Anyways, we did get him, and that's all that matters. Well, would you look at that? Just when I was about ready to go to a different spot, we found this guy. The same guy that we've been looking for this whole time. Well, I wasn't exactly ready to go to a different spot, but I was ready to think of a new plan to try something else. And anyways, we found him. So now, let's get back in the stand and try and get this guy. But first, <laughs> let's turn off these absolutely annoying tracks absolutely everywhere. Okay, so I can see our bull coming up over here. I can barely see his rack sticking up right there. Yeah, there he is. But he's being pretty hesitant on whether or not he wants to come in. He's trying to catch our scent. He's trying to get downwind of us. 
What do we have here? What do we have here? That is not the four. That is a really cool looking three, four bull. I don't even know what that is. But that's definitely a different bull that we haven't seen before. Wow. That's gotta be like a three or a four. Interesting. More out coming in here, but let's not get distracted. That's not a shot. Not really a shot that I'm comfortable with anyways. But. We might not have a choice. And we got him. Okay, good. Yeah, because if we would have any longer, he probably would have bolted. And just look at all the elk still coming in. There's got to be hundreds of them here. We already took down, what, 15 of them? I'd say we took down close to 15 of them. Here lays our bull. That is a pretty cool looking bull. Pretty cool looking. Three especially. Let's pick him up. And he has a gold. Double long shot. Ended up scoring 809. But this, this side here actually looks like it could be from a four. And then this side here... It's like a, a big three rack and then a, a four rack. That's what it kind of looks like to me. Ended up weighing 929 pounds and a double lung shot at 23 yards out and wow. But in case you want to know exactly where the spot is again, let me just show you. We are on the far northeast end of the map over here at the Norden Northern Outpost and we are just to the east right here. So basically go down to the road, run along the road, cut over straight east. We are right here. We have an elk need zone right here. We have a uh, white tail need zone here and uh, elk need zone here. And our stand is right here. So yeah, this spot is absolutely incredible. And I think that's actually going to be a good way to end this video. We didn't end up getting any mounters, but we got some pretty good bulls and that was an incredible hunt. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I wish you luck. Definitely head to that spot. Oh, I forgot. Well, no, I showed you what time the need zone is. Just come here around 8.30, get in your stand by 9, and you'll be all set. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, is that our big four that we were waiting for this whole entire time? <laughs> Are you serious? I, the worst part is we can't even take a shot now, because if we do, we'll ruin this whole entire need zone. Look at him. He knows it, too. He knows it. He knows we can't do anything about it. Well, I guess there's always next time. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. You are one lucky bull. And look at all the cows you have out there, too. All to yourself.